Hey there, it's Chris and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm comparing the Lilit Bianca V3, which is a dual boiler, PID enabled, flow controllable espresso machine to the Profitech Pro 700, which you guessed it is a dual boiler, PID enabled, and optionally flow controllable espresso machine. Now I do have full individual reviews of each of these machines available on the channel for more in-depth information about each of them. Before we begin, a few disclosures. Firstly, this was sent to me by my friends at Cliff and Pebble, although no money exchanged hands and all thoughts and opinions are my own as always. Right now you can also use promo code CHRIS at checkout for a free Akaya Lunar with any espresso machine purchase. Yes, any machine. Just be sure to have both the scale and the machine in the cart at checkout. Secondly, the Profitech Pro 700 was sent to me by Profitech in collaboration with their US distributor, Whole Latte Love, which once again, no money exchanged hands and all thoughts and opinions are my own. Third, this video has no sponsor, but is made possible with the help of you guys supporting the channel and using my affiliate links to below to continue to help support me and the channel to keep reviewing machines like these. I have recently also enabled channel memberships, so if you join as a channel member, so you'll have access to some emojis, badges, shoutouts, and discounts on the Mocha Mondays storefront. So with that out of the way, let's have a run through of the feature breakdown of each of these machines. So both are E61 dual boiler machines with stainless steel boilers. Both have PID control in them, and each of these boilers are individually controlled, each using little displays on the bottom left corners of each machine. The Bianca comes with a flow control paddle stock, while the flow control knob is an optional add-on for the Pro 700. Both are also rotary pump machines, which are a little quieter than something like the vibratory pumps on a Rocket Apartamento, which I do have a full review on and comparison of that machine to the Lilith Bianca. So going into some of the build quality differences, while both machines are stainless steel, the build of the Profitech is definitely nicer. It has thicker, smoother panels with cleaner cut edges and details all around. The bevels on the side panels are really nice, and yes, there is minimal warping on those panels. That's not to say that the Bianca has a bad build, it's still bent stainless steel parts and panels all around. There's just a little bit thinner and less attention to detail. The Profitech is also the much bigger and much heavier machine. It's a little bit taller, a little bit wider, and a little bit deeper, although this can also change depending on where you decide to mount your Bianca's water tank, since it can be mounted on either the left, right, or back of the machine. I should also mention that both the machines are plumbable to a waterline. The Bianca comes with some wooden accents, while the Profitech uses solid black plastic knobs. The Profitex definitely feels a little bit stiffer and sturdier compared to the knobs on the Bianca, but the aesthetic of the wood that comes with it does win for me. Regardless, you certainly won't have any issues in that department. Both machines also have hot water spouts that I never use since the water is way overheated, but because of the wider footprint of the Profitex, it doesn't have to be awkwardly scooched to the side to allow for use of the lever. Now moving into some more nitpicky territory, the cup warming portion on top feels nicer on the Bianca because of the metal grate, which almost feels like it was meant for it, while on the Profitech it feels like you're just using the machine's lid, which is actually weird because it's a lid to the lid. So on the Profitech, the lid is like a second layer to the machine itself, and you will have to remove all your cups on top to refill the machine's water tank. The drip trays on both machines are fine, but the Profitech does feel a little more robust with a very precisely fit inner tray, while on the Bianca, it uses a more simple grill-like tray. In terms of the aesthetics, the machines are quite different. The Bianca obviously has some signature wood accents and has a more rounded design overall, while the Profitech is definitely a lot more geometric and squared off. It's worth mentioning that there are wood and color accents available for this machine, but do cost a few hundred bucks more. I do believe there are also some new colors of the Bianca V3 coming, including a matte black, which I would personally absolutely love. I think I personally prefer the Bianca from an aesthetic perspective, since the curves sort of match with the Niche Zero Grinder. I do prefer the front-facing panel of the Profitech, with the integrated logo looking a little bit more subtle than its bright red late logo counterpart though I'm pretty indifferent about the gauges on both machines. The little switch here is also more satisfying to use than the push button on the Lilith, although I'm not a fan of the green and orange lights on the machine, despite them being there for functionality, but that's just personal preference. So the Lilith wins on the UI aspect for me, from the little display to subtle features like how it warns you when you don't have enough water to pull a shot. Like mentioned in my full Profitech review, the display is not super intuitive, although after a couple of uses you will get used to it. But the biggest annoyance was the lack of any fill sign to indicate a lack of water, which I've learned some people do have that notification, while some like myself do not, which is weird. 
Both displays do work for what they are, but from an intuitive use perspective, I do prefer the Bianca. The Bianca also has some unique modes like pre-infusion, low flow start, low flow finish, and brewing temperature offset. More details on each of those modes again are available in the full Elite Bianca review. These machines are both incredibly capable of steaming milk non-stop or back-to-back. -back. The Profitech does have more steam power than the Bianca when both are set to the maximum temp, which is great for large pitchers of milk. However, for like 99% of people and for home use, it makes a very minimal difference and I am perfectly fine with both machines. The Profitech does win in one other area when it comes to that steam wand type thing and that is the little rubber bits on the steam wand and the hot water valve. It's a nice simple little touch on these machines. Both machines have very maneuverable steam ones that, unlike the Rocket Departamento, does not scratch the front panel of the machine. Now when it comes to Espresso, I've said this for every machine I've ever reviewed, with the exception of the Super Auto I reviewed, and these machines make great espresso. You can get great espresso from machines like the $500 Flare 58 and Gadget Classic Pro, or even some sub $200 Flare Leapers. Where things change is in consistency and how repeatable your shots will be. I'm happy to say that with both of these machines, you will have fantastic and repeatable shots. One thing I will touch on is the comparison between how you can control the shots on each of the machines. With the Bianca's flow control, you do have that paddle, which has a little bit more of a limited range compared to the Profitech's knob when it comes to flow control. I compared the numbers in my Profitech review, but I'll throw it up here again just for comparison. Now, like mentioned earlier, the Bianca V3 does have some new features from the V2 called Low Flow, which is designed to almost act like a sort of electronic version of the paddle, where you don't need to use the paddle to get replicable results if you say enjoy shots that start or end with a low flow. So in that regard, the V3 Bianca does have a few extra neat features compared to the Profitech. But the V2 Bianca, not as much. So which machine is right for you? I think it really is going to depend on how you intend to use these machines. The Bianca V3 has those new unique features that do add some automations to things you can do manually on both machines like pre-infusion and low flow starts or finishes, while the Profitech is much more manual. The Profitech does win in the build quality, steam power, and if I didn't care for those automated modes, this would probably be the machine I'd stick with. But because I am a fan of and use those automated features for my daily workflow, the Bianca V3 is the machine that's going to be staying on my bar, at least for now. So hopefully that helps you to make a decision, and as always, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.